Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Inkbound, the turn-based tactics roguelike that I'm very excited to be back to here today. We're going to be checking out the Gods and Relics update once more, which overhauls the game in a pretty major way. And let me tell you, it is really improved in just one major update here. So there's a bunch of overhauls to the Relic systems, and there's also two entire new classes. We already checked out the Chainbreaker. Now we're going to be checking out the God Keeper. So we have a specialization here. After using a movement binding or teleporting to your spear, Celestial Spear. Gain velocity. I'm sure that's going to be... Yeah, right there. Okay. Which is a 50% attack boost on your next attack. We have Impale, which is our basic attack. 30 damage. Double to the nearest and inflict a stack of bleed on the nearest as well. Okay. Throw your spear. This is a magic spell. Throw your spear doing 40 damage and create a selectable Celestial Spear where it lands. And then we have Whirlwind, 60 damage, double to far away enemies. Okay. Spear, select to teleport to the location and smite the nearest enemy, gaining a stack of velocity for each turn it's been on the ground. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff going on here, but let's just get on into the run. We're going to be doing the quick mode, which I played yesterday. I feel like it is a really good pace. It's like a 40, 45 minute run instead, which... I think it's kind of a nice uh, nice length for something like this. So let's get our first item. On your turn, there's a 35% chance to gain a will. On your turn, gain three stacks of shattered will, which is something that eventually gives you a guaranteed will. Um, So this is like thir gain 33% of a will every turn, or 30% rather. And this is 35% chance to gain a will. I'll get the guarantee consistency we'll probably go for both because there is a new set bonus thing anyways if we get two things that have that set the will collector set uh two orbs two orbs will grant four shattered will okay we'll see three stacks of bleed on the nearest enemy four bleed on far enemies let's try and go for a bleed build i grabbed a starting relic that might help us with that might not you can pause that and read that right there. But this is a very front-loaded video as is, so I don't want to take any longer before we get to the action and see what this is uh, all about. So this... What's the radius on? It's a pretty good radius. And... We can actually get all of them in that circle. Huh. It does take two will. I think that's worth it though so this is throwing down the spear and then we can click it to teleport interesting very very interesting so pop it like that because the closer one does more damage interesting seems strong so far there's the okay i was hoping we would get the option to have both so, on your turn, 35% chance to gain a will. We have the Will Collector. Orbs grant you four Shattered Will, which basically means orbs grant you 40% of a mana is kind of a way to think about it. On your turn, smite the nearest enemy. Man, I, I don't know. Going for bleed and smite, though, doesn't make a lot of sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. This is randomly gain a small amount of burn, frostbite, poison, bleed damage, or spike damage. So we could be going for just kind of random status effects, knowing that it'll probably be improved a little bit. We got spike damage there, so sure. On your turn, gain two stacks of spike, which is when you're hit, reflect some damage back. Reduce your other cooldowns by one, gain 20 movement. <clears throat> great a, that was not like a great a plan that grants a will for each turn it's on the ground next attack does double damage I want to see if we can get a movement AoE and poison we do have the poison thing here let's go for one more blink so this is a movement ability which means we should get the god keeper buff out of it that's my my guess at the very least <clears throat> Go for the sea breach. Clear that throat. Sorry. 
So Sea Breach has got massively improved as well. Whether or not it's going to be good right now, who knows? Lose 5 HP for a chance to get a valuable reward. Odds increase with every attempt. Lose 50 Quellings a chance to get a valuable reward. I'll do it. Come on. Yeah, about those odds to get something. On hitting an enemy inflicted with burn, apply a stack of Frostbite is very uh, not helpful right now. Let's go for the vaults. Vaults give us items. Not helpful right now, but it could potentially become helpful. We could just be kind of like a, you know, going for a sort of... Hold on, can I? I have velocity. Looking like roughly the same amount of damage. Trying to get everybody in the perfect, like, Marth Tipper range is a little bit tricky here. Okay, we can click that and teleport to it, smiting the nearest. Alright, we do that. Do we have enough movement to get out of these attacks? We sure do. God, I sacked so much health there for this stupid relic. But that's just the kind of guy I am, right? I want to I wanna get that boost. Speaking of kind of guy I am, I'm literally just going to teleport so I can boost that DPS. It's worth it. Save that orb for next turn. Gain a stack of velocity for every turn it's on the ground. I think that's supposed to be the thing that is intending to discourage you from just instant using it all the time. But yeah, uh, Blink seems overpowered with this. On using a Magic Binding, gain a stack of Dawn. 20 physical damage per stack until the start of the next turn. On using a Physical Binding, gain a stack of Dusk. Interesting. I think we could make use of that, because if I remember correctly, f does Frost damage... Scale off of magic and bleed scales off of physical. I can't remember. I don't think it... I mean, maybe it doesn't. That being said, we obviously have... We have a good mix of magic and physical abilities right now anyways. On your turn, smite the nearest. On your turn, mark. Let's get something that has a synergy, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm collecting an orb. Come on, we can do one more. One more. Give me something good. On your turn, a 35% chance to gain a will. We could get even more will. Let's get more guaranteed will. Orbs grant four shattered will. Shattered will triggers at eight stacks now instead. Interesting. On hitting an enemy afflicted with burn stack frostbite. Sure, I will grab incendiary. Free binding augment and a chance to upgrade another. I don't think I should go somewhere that I need to spend money to get any kind of reward. On hitting, inflict the bleed. Thaumaturge. When an enemy is inflicted with at least two effects between burn, poison, bleed, gain 10 burn damage, 6 poison damage, bleed damage. I like the thought of that. Great. Hmm. I am going to be skipping through those. We even get a little bit of free money. At this point, like, the cover my coverage of the game has been so s segmented that following this story cleanly is just... You know, it's hard to, hard to do anyways. What am I looking at? I want to look at my stats. We got another spike damage increase, interestingly enough. Uncommon Augment. I'll go for that. Glyphs are rerolls. But yeah, I don't really want to replace another Relic right now. Causes a little bit of awkwardness. Man, the fun thing is that these guys love to perfectly put themselves in uh, Marth Tipper range. That'll mean something to, to to some people, don't worry. If it doesn't mean anything to you. On being hit, turn to face the attacker. Okay. 
Okay. How much movement do I have? I still got a decent amount yet. Do that and get out. They'll hopefully die to the burn. Burn? Bleed? I guess I thought we'd be applying burn as well, but that's just only on incendiary right now. God. Teleport has always been like a best in slot spell. It's always been. But on this character, it's like, oh boy, that takes it to the extreme. We get to reposition ourselves into a proper spot. On top of, uh... Whoop. You know, getting that extra 50% damage boost, it's just so good. Getting another spikes is something. Annoyingly, I sort of want to get rid of this because I'll try and explain. We're going to be able to basically munch our items and turn them into just their, you know, their set effects here. So if I could get towards orbs, grant four, shattered will, shattered will triggers at eight. Whenever you gain will from shattered will, gain an additional will. That's so busted that more or less is like shattered will triggers at four stacks, kind of. So like we're going to be getting so much mana, it's absurd. And annoyingly, I feel like I have to get rid of this to get there, which is so frustrating. Uh, crit chance, 40 crit chance, an additional four stacks of burn. Hmm. Give me something cooler. How about that? Extra crit chance, two additional stacks of burn on critting, do an additional five. Whirlwind, 20 flat damage, 6% crit chance. Escalating Impale increases your crit damage. I, I start most turns with Whirlwind. God, can we still... We can't backtrack all the way anymore, right? Let's see what we... That's how they changed the backtracking. Oh, that's a bummer. They just delete the stuff on the ground now. Oh, that's such a bummer. Because I get to munch something to gain double its set bonuses right now. Pick that one. So we're already at five. So we're one off. So I could have gone back and picked it up, but no. The game says, game says no now. You can't do that. Place your hand oh. upon the podium. Completed a quest. All right, we have at least a bunch of money. I don't think I even need to heal myself before the boss. Hashtag greed, greed, greed. But uh, there we go. We got our six. We're all set on will collector. Six out of six. Magic damage up. Ancient Wisdom, that could be good, but, like, I, I think I need to just keep these, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go munch, munch, munch. This one I'm not sure if I'm munching. But both Tortoises and both Voice of Fortunes we're getting rid of, for sure. Inflict five bleed to all enemies. If they had bleed already, instead inflict shatter. Huh. 30% bonus physical damage to the target loose start of the turn. Huh. I'll take it. It's kind of interesting. It's a higher quality one. Yeah, I don't I don't need to heal myself before this boss. Famous last words, I'm sure, but I first boss, 20 HP is plenty. The only damage I've taken here is uh by choice, basically. Want to inflict the shatter so we can do big boy damage there. Cool. 
Get out of the circle. There we are. More bleed or some burn? On ally defeated, we'll face the attacker. Oh my lord. So many attacks. Okay, so we do this, and then we pop down. We might as well pop down that to inflict the shatter for max deeps there, making sure that he's in the tipper range. Whoop. I don't have any uh, shielding as it currently stands. Oh, that's so annoying. What an, what an awkward amount there. After the attack, after the attack. Yeah. Sure. Because here, here's why it's annoying. He's... Oh! Here's why it's annoying. It's not. That's why. Interesting. So, there's no more orbs, so I can't reset this anyways. I'm literally just using that as a damage amp. But I... I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. I feel like just applying a, as much bleed as possible is the call. 31 bleed, doing 589 damage. Lol. Okay. That almost was rough. As soon as we pick that up, then we kind of lock our positioning. Can I get them all? I feel like I can't get them all. And hit them with that. Well, it's fine. We'll just accept that this one's not going to be quite as hurt. It's fine. We got <laughs> so much free stuff there anyways. Should have done that first. I guess I just didn't know where we were going to be getting as far as deeps. Fifty bleed. Bye. We gotta remember that we don't have any baked in survivability to this character, so we do have to be careful. Uh, 80 damage, double the far enemies, gain two bleeding damage for every far enemy hit. Okay, I, I'm definitely preferring the uh, the bleed angle here. Gain a stack up blur, reduce all incoming damage by one. Plus 40 damage, inflict shatter. Shatter to all near enemies. Hmm. 40 extra damage is obviously great. That's a 50% boost on something that already does so much. Blurring Blink gives us safety, but... I don't really care. I want to just get so strong we explode the enemies before thinking about it. How about that? Sounds good? Sounds good. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Munch. 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 That's not... I don't think it's, like, great. We do get rid of uh, a lot of ways to get our shattered will but now basically picking up orbs two orbs we get the extra will as well and we get two extra will and ideally we now get the ability to find some other like potentially will collecting stuff i suppose silent promenade oh, we went to the derelict starship the other day i suppose we could have kept one might have been the call like the on turn, th well, but it's all like it was all three, which is such an awkward number for us. But yeah, picking up orbs is really good. I guess I'll go for the double augments. There was a world where I went for uh, artifacts instead. Just switch what I call them every single time. Why not?
What am I stuck on here? Interesting. This is so strange. Putting myself in a wee bit of danger. Oh, more than a wee bit. Okay. But yeah, now if we can get something that like spawns more orbs, that'd be really, really good. Those may not sound like a thing that exists. It absolutely is. Okay, so we want you to be the first hit so that we can try and do this. Teleport. He has the increased damage taken from that. We have a bunch of Dawn. We have our velocity stack up. Is he taking the big number? Yeah, it's actually hard for him to not... Good. How much movement? We got so much movement. Bye bye. Bunch of little fellers. Sayonara. On teleporting the spear, gain two shield. Inflict four bleed to four enemies. I'm going for a bleed build. After teleporting, inflict mark to the nearest enemy, which just increases their damage taken. Reduce the base cool, increase the range. Marking the nearest enemy is great. No, mark is like makes them take a guaranteed crit or it makes them take 100% extra damage. I think it's gone through a couple uh, interpretations. Hmm. Go to the carver. I don't feel great about it. But I, I need to guarantee I get some relics. I have so much empty space. On critting, gain three stacks of shattered will. So yeah, we're overflowing will collector for sure. I should have... Yeah, I should have gotten rid of one. The, I'm still getting used to this new system. But yeah, we definitely should have. Augments, eh, lots of money and the better augment sounds good. God, the pacing of this game is just so much better. And you really feel like you can make more unique builds. It's really neat. So this guy takes a lot less damage. I'm not really feeling the pull to use incendiary as much as I was hoping. Inflict the shatter. Yeah. That was I don't know why I did that right there. We got bleed damage. Burn damage, poison spike. Yeah. Not helping us quite as much as I was hoping it would. I want to get... Okay, you do have the bleed. Then what we'll do is apply Shattered Will. Trying to focus on that one up there, I guess, a little bit. Oh, we have so much. Okay, so popping this does hit us with a... Um, an extra stack of Dawn, increasing our physical damage, so that it, that is helpful. Huge. Didn't think I'd get out of that, but 
I'm good with it. He's got 18 bleed, which, which happens after he comes out, which is so helpful. Well, that's regretful. Can't I have to take that damage? I need to get some kind of defense. <laughs> the way he fell. Uh, burn to a single enemy. Twelve stacks of burn. If the enemy dies at the end of your turn, it's stacks of burn spread. Deal fifty damage to small area. Then, then do burn damage. It's not bad. I feel like I want to upgrade one of the other things I have. On defeating an enemy, you can flash again for free. So hold on. Is this, um... Using a magic binding. It's a magic binding. It doesn't have to do damage to become it. Yeah, being able to, like, jump between them seems silly. On your turn, if your Omni damage is zero, gain a will. And that is good, but I, I want to... I need to find something. On dealing bleed damage, gain a stack of vigor. Oh. That's that's potentially good. So vigor, when you hit them, you heal an HP and reduce a stack of vigor on them. Yep. So it's kind of... Uh, vigor is the closest thing to like a lifesteal. The hovel. Destroy something for double its set bonuses. Worth noting, what are the set bonuses? We've got Eviscerator. Bleed damage up. Love to see it. Uh, what is this one? Starwalker. Bindings that do not deal base damage. Have minus one base cooldown. Base cooldown can't go below one. Okay. That's basically just... That helps blink, I suppose. And then this, gain of vigor for every point of damage you take each turn. Okay, well, hey. I don't really want to munch any of this right now. I could get rid of Rosie Thorn. Gain three max HP after every combat. We maybe could have done that. There's not that many combats left. But it also gets rid of it because it's like, dude, how much do I care about the spikes right now? Spike damage up by four. Let's go here. Well. Well. That'll do. Deal 30% extra damage to enemies with bleed. What's the max one? Another 5 bleed damage. On dealing bleed damage, gain a stack of vigor. Oh my lord. Hello there, punk. There's your stuff. Okay. Rare augments. Augments sound good. I feel like there's more of a cha like more of a reason than ever to actually consider combat encounters that aren't hard. Because right now I'm looking at this, I'm like, I do have an empty slot. That's not unrealistic to think it'd be a good choice. But I'm going to leave that slot empty because I think we'll fill it up before the end of the game. Anyways. Oh, my lord. So we get a blink again for free. Oh, that was not what I really should have done. Oh, well. I do get a blink again for free, for free, for free. On being hit, we'll turn to face the attacker. Oh, shoot. That bleed, I was going to say, that bleed better be doing a uh, heap and helping. strange, but we can just do enough to get all these kills. Saving one is an interesting call. 
You're probably dying anyways. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's just to upgrade the Dawn. I don't think it's worth it right now. I'm taking two guaranteed hits here. Okay, shielding does not apply right then. So, with them being guarantees, let's do a little bit of a, a Moida. You already have Shatter? You already did have Shatter. So I can't avoid this hit. So I might as well make you suffer. He probably dies. Yeah, from the bleed. The burn die actually is doing quite a bit. Range increase to max. It's not bad. Additional burn stacks. Also not bad. I don't have very high crit chance. Which is something that I would like. Uh, but not <laughs> I want it in general. Or on something I'm using more than incendiary. On teleporting the spirit gain two shield, I feel like it's something I'm gonna need, unfortunately. When teleporting the spear, gain an extra velocity. When defeating an enemy with impale. On turn start cost is full cost discount. That would make me use it. Okay, I'm gonna do it just because I can't imagine a better upgrade for that right now. <laughs> All right, let's go for the let's get the rare out of the way first. Increase the damage by 50. Okay. Okay. I don't know if we can have two marking blinks. Reduce base cooldown by 1 and increase the range. That also is very very helpful. Doubling the damage of incendiary is very good, but that being able to be used every turn is very important for us. Uh increasing crit chance is great because we have uh on crit gain 3 stacks of shattered will, which is if we get enough crit chance, I'm not going to say we're going infinite, but we could uh, be pretty reliably up there. On defeating an enemy, restore up 1 HP up to 2 times. Crit damage, not crit chance. Vigorous. You gain a vigor for each point of damage. You take up to 4. That does help us out, and it's it's definitely not bad. Defeating an enemy with one of your physical bindings, all physical bindings gain a cost discount twice per turn. That seems fundamentally silly. It also gives us both vigorous, or uh, not vigorous. Or was it? Verdant, which, yeah, sure. And Striker, 25 physical damage, don't mind if I do. Right. Boy there, big boy. Alright, uh, so lead vulnerable. Can't pop more with the burn. We're just gonna stack up our stuff. What's this? Vulnerable to all enemies? Sure. We're going for a big explosion here, basically. So we already have... That doesn't stack as far as, like... That doesn't increase my damage even further on one hit, does it? It does? It uses all of them? Though, okay. I assume that it was, like, uh, other games where it's... A 50% increase to your damage, and you can go ahead and just, like, I don't know, get 50 on this attack, and then if you have two stacks of it, it means two attacks will do an extra 50%. I've had a lot of, played a lot of games that have done that. Can I just run out of this? I can run pretty far out of it. Um. 
Taking a little bit is not even that big of a deal because we get the four vigor, which means we will heal quite a bit. Okay. Charge up. Got the crit. Can we just run out? Sorta. What am I getting take? Oh, oh. Look at that. I can just nestle up right, right near his rear. And we're all good. Guy, I think you are long deceased. You are already dead. Cool. Uh, inflict a second bleed. Enemies take 40 more damage from smite till the end of the turn. Gain 2 damage per enemy hit until the end of combat. On, oh, on War Spear. That's on, that's, uh, or on Impale. Blink gives you a cost discount to a random binding. So there's a smite, yeah, there's definitely a smite build in here, which is really interesting. Okay. We can remove something and just gain its stuff. I'll munch the rosy thorn. I think that we keep the rest. Of course, there's double vault. Two items. There's also a chance that we get the shop. It's just like, I don't know what I'm going to want to replace yet. Teleport. 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 It's a fairly large damage increase. Oh, I should have popped your thing first. Oh, well. Get to keep a little challenge that way. Does that stay until next turn? I feel like it would. Sure do. God, he, I did it again, though. It's okay. I want to... It's more important that we kill this guy anyways. But we've done a weird thing with it. Ah, so strange. I guess we... Teleport, and we mark through. Teleport. Wow. We've made a mess in, a, in the, the best ways. All right, before we do anything, get rid of this fool. A little bit of magic damage. Teleport, reset. Teleport, AoE blast. Everybody's taking the full of it. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel kit. On crit, gain three stacks of Shattered Will. Flaming Fist could have been fun, but yeah, it's just not what we ended up getting here, really. Let's take a look. What do we got? We got a shop coming up. Causes zero will and does 30 extra damage the first time used each turn. Stack of blur is probably the safer thing, but I don't care. Yeah, let's save our money because we can maybe get... Is it 100 or is it 200? For a binding... Oh, there's not a binding op option to buy every single time? Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. What is this? 
on your turn lose an HP in combat. In combat, gain 10 Omni damage for every 3 missing HP you have. That seems very cool. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to go back and pick up that other thing, but it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, I guess I always, I thought there was always the chance to buy an augment. Shouldn't matter. We should have absolutely ripped this apart. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so apply bleed. Pop him with the spear so he gets the vulnerable. Teleport orb. Teleport AoE attack blast. I think they're all in the range. Oh, I should have teleported my spear before I did it. Oh, well. So this is... Cleanse all stacks of Cinderpox, which is a thing that I don't have. Oh, even better. We'll save it on crit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's up in the air, and we actually can't attack him this turn. If I can save... the orb... that'd be super beneficial. So we cleanse the cinder pox, which is just something he he just applies it to you every once in a while. I took a whole bunch of damage, and I don't even remember where or why or how. Okay, so apply poison. I guess I'll grab a... No. Teleport. Power orb. And, it, I mean, well, we might as well have teleported, I guess. Apply that. Teleport. Power orb. This is so weird. Teleport. Lull? Technically I have some cinder pox, so let's remove that. Try and stack up a crit. Same deal here. Does he not, um... Oh, it doesn't even go up into the sky. Okay. So step one, do that. But don't teleport yet. Oh, you didn't have bleed already. Shoot. Oh, well. Maybe it'll make it interesting. Poka, poka, poka. Poka. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We would have killed him um, if we didn't fumble the ordering. We would have wanted to war spear, war spear, then. Oh my god, <laughs> the font on that, the text on that is so long. Look at that, that it just can't even, feels, can't even get it on the screen. That is a really interesting class with some pretty hefty game-breaking potential. I would say my only problem I have with the class is, like, a conceptual one. And it's the fact that, how are you ever going to pick that character and not just hyper-roll for Blink? It's so... Blink is so good anyways. Like, it's... To, to the point, I don't want it to get nerfed because it's so fun and it feels like it makes a lot of the game feel a lot like cleaner. Whip. I don't so I don't want it to get nerfed, but it's also just like, well, how am I ever gonna want to pick something different? Usually, but especially now. Uh, with this with this class at the very least, just best I best spell anyways. 
and it also synergizes out the wazoo with velocity from Godkeeper. I don't know, man, but I love it. I'm, I'm trying to hide here. I'm trying to do an outro. David for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Legacy more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>